I don't even, I mean, like this one here, it's rotted through pretty well right here in the deck. I ended up charging somebody 70 bucks to fix something like this. I gotta look at this one. The teacher wants to fix the lawn boy. That one's gonna end up being 200 bucks. I restored the, the, uh, spark to it this guy though I hear the fuel pump go right but it doesn't sound like it ever stops priming so at least it sounds like a fuel pump right so I'm gonna have to tear this stuff off because watch what happens right almost sounds like a fuel blockage so hopefully it's a fuel filter Look at that a little bit clo more closely. They uh, they know how to give you a whole extra, a lot of extra room. So we're going to tear the Honda apart. We got that Honda to run. I'm going to do a service, general service on that. I guess I'm doing a general service on this. And someday we'll fix that Harley Davidson there. But in the meantime, uh, yeah, that's what we're working with. Oh, we got a crap spin in today too. So, uh, and he wants new tires on this thing. Try to clean up some stuff. Monday looks like it's that. No, I have to pull the uh, scope out. But there's so much garbage in there. Uh, I, I really wish you could see what was in there. So, uh, 729 Grasshopper. It's a G liquid cool. Actually smells like it has a little bit of a uh, a coolant leak, even though the coolant is fairly full there. Um, definitely smell. You can smell a hint of the sweetness, the sweet aroma. But what we were having a little bit of an issue with was uh, some backfiring and carrying on, hard start and run, and. Uh, the old fuel filter that was in here was actually uh, like uh, you know, I have lack of words I guess plugging it up you could actually hear the old one rattling around and maybe I'll cut that open to take a look so we replaced the straw last year because the uh, the owner in an attempt to try to remove uh, the broken uh, fuel indicator um, managed to uh, break the straw I guess and uh, now I was looking in there and there's there's so much garbage in the bottom of that uh, I think that it actually there's some big hunks but we're gonna, we're gonna get a fluid uh, kill this guy too if we can without them stinging me and yeah, get out of here uh, we're gonna get the uh, fuel transfer pump that I have that my buddy Chris bought and brought over somewhere we're gonna pump out the fuel that's in here oh, but had to uh, find a charger so we can charge up a uh, my tablet here and hopefully be able to uh, show you what's in the bottom here. The unfortunate part is I don't think this I don't think this thing is long enough. I 
So I'm going to have to figure out how to put a little bit of an attachment on the end of that. I pulled a spark plug. Spark plug that I pulled does not look bad, so we'll probably keep that. Of course, we're probably going to have more gas than I have room in this container, too, so that might suck. Of course, why not? So we still have uh, a little bit down on the bottom there. And uh, thank you uh, to grasshopper for making that deeper than a regular uh, tube or whatever you know or, or thing and blah 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 and a big big doo ba doo ba doo and just try to go ahead and fabric cobble something else along and hope that uh yeah that's not gonna work so now we're gonna have to take a moment and look around for some other menagerie to go ahead and drain this tank out because and feel like removing it today uh not that they're overly difficult to remove just don't like getting down on the ground too often so we'll figure out something to get the rest of the that out of there and then i gotta find i gotta hook up the shot back anyways and try to suck out the debris that's in the bottom there drop and tilt the tank uh that being said came up with some fabric cobbling to go ahead and try to get the rest of this grimy gas out of here and uh that seems to be working so and then we'll use the uh, vacuum cleaner and the hose to suck the rest of the schlike out of there and now that i've had my morning fill of gasoline hopefully we can get this thing uh taken care of soon done at least out of my hair uh we have only 8% battery life in this so far, and that's been charging for probably a good 20 minutes. <laughs> so hopefully it's long enough to go ahead and hook the camera up here and get a scope. Yep. Takes a little bit for that uh, bell housing to get a little bit of juice in it, but 275,000 miles. All right. All right, let's see if we can squeak this guy out here without inconveniencing the woman. Oh, that thing's got a tough a rear drive. <clears throat> this guy needs a needs a quick uh, carb cleaning, maybe. <clears throat> Time for the throat clearing. I gotta take those and dispose of those. And I got to. Uh, I'm gonna get this loaded up, but I have to. Uh, I do have to re strap these in yet, so I strap that in and I gotta strap the two bolts in that and two bolts in the battery. Or one bolt in the battery, sorry. Yep, do it with flip-flops, that's what I say. <clears throat> Oop.
I'm gonna pull this little putt putt in the garage.